Okay, I had to record this because I have been at Cree for so many drops and doing so many things. And check this out. Got this Armadillo Hill. Got this Armadillo Hill. That's a win. So check this out, check this out. Armadillo Hill. Moon meals received. I, I, I get the grats, I get the grats. Also up here. Yeah, buddy. Cree is finally providing. And I'm finally getting invention, which I guess I should throw an update. 77. Um, I'm going for ancient gizmos. I got very lucky today when I repurchased my T92s. I sold like my entire bank. 12 mil is like all I got left. Um, but I figured even though T92s are expensive, uh, they make themselves worth it very quickly in other ways. AKA, I don't have to buy arrows and ammunition with this. Kind of justifies the increased, uh, you know, cost of, of using it. But, I mean, as you can see from my Amulet of Souls charge at 58%, I've been very busy here. I've done hours and hours of Cree and Charm Gathering to, you know, unlock the Ripper Demons. I just wanted to test them out here, which, by the way, Ripper Demons are good. Do not bring them to anything under than Araxi, because it's just not enough damage to make it worth it. Here, you can see. Ripper Demon's going. So I'm hitting like 600s, which would be 6,800 in EOC, what they see. And you can see him continuously hitting zeros. I'm going to test more with the actual scroll ability, but from what I was reading, the auto attacks were better than this from what a lot of people said. So um, it's nice. It kind of provides a bleed effect on the boss. I don't think it... Uh, I don't think it's been more useful than a Unicorn Stallion, because I usually bring a couple Rock Tails just as panic food, or a Unicorn Stallion, and I've already gone through the two food and a couple doses of Ceridomen Brew whenever I just forget to overload. And so, yeah, definitely here it would have been a better a better get to go ahead and, and uh, just bring Unicorn Stallion. <laughs> she blessed me again. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. So I went and drive for 250 KC. Okay, <laughs> yeah, okay. So this has to be the best armadillo trip I have ever gotten. So like, look at this, hold on. The arena has now expired and no further bosses will spawn. That is my fourth drop in a single hour. Yo. I got another one. I just keep getting lucky here i think i'm 10 minutes into this trip 47 minutes left on the aura yeah yeah <laughs> uh, so many arma pieces i will take it so on today's journey i went to raxor got some onyxes had some extra money so i thought let's train some invention nobody told me about this nobody at all that you can use extreme invention potions to basically unlock all the gizmo stuff and everything. So I can get all the way up to ancient gizmos and train, uh, drain reductions and stuff like that. This is huge. So this precise four uh, enhanced efficiency, this stuff's about to change um, when I get ancient gizmos. So. If you didn't know that, you can boost with invention pretty heavily. It's awesome. So as I began seriously leveling my account, I finished off some 99s I was waiting for. I wanted 99 defense first. Don't know why, but thought it'd be cool. Picked up some capes almost immediately. Then I started trying other bosses. You know, after a while, I got... 85 divination basically i mean once i figured out extreme invention potions i could just kit my armor out to go anywhere so i tried new things uh twin furies would definitely be one of my favorites i can tell you this we duoed and even when it was like him using legacy or him using eoc it didn't matter it was extremely easy to kill the Twin Furies, and there's actually a large part of it. So once the red one flies in the air and the gray one's all you can attack, once you attack the gray one, you can literally go AFK. So, great boss to grind out some uh, some seals on for Vindicta drop chance. Then we tried next. 
Huge shout out to Blizzard. I begged everybody in my clan for, I don't know, probably near an hour to see if anybody would, you know, be willing to come. And a lot of them are newer, I don't blame them, but we wanted to experience Next for the first time. What do you know? It went really well. Legacy did not hold me back in the slightest. I mean, the only thing I would make an adjustment to is the fact that I probably could have killed the minions with Ascension crossbows faster because of their firing rate. But this was the kill after. Blizzard was there to be our training wheels, and now we had to see what we could do together, just Legacy, in a duo, at one of the higher tier bosses. Wouldn't say top, but pretty pretty high tier. And yeah, it did very well. I mean, now that I have stuff like Crackling 4 to hit a 400, I guess that'd be a 4000 in EOC, every 60 seconds, and all the other things that help me mitigate damage and, you know, handle everything that's coming in. I could tank nearly this entire kill um, just myself. And he could focus on DPS in the background or vice versa. So we found that we could actually do probably two or three kills in inventory. After that, I had to test my bones at racks again. You know, this has been a very frustrating boss. My average kill time was seven minutes up to this point, I'd say. And wow. I can tell you, invention's important. Perks make so much of a difference. I smacked the fuck out of her. I mean, I, I sat there and grinded out a Raxor like I was big chilling at a Slayer task. Like, after 20 kills, I became an expert. I mean, it wasn't really juking me anymore. It was like the shadows were hurting me more because of her enrage at the time. And I still only have tier 80 defense gear. It gets better than this. It gets so much better. And the crazy part is... Look at the timer below. I'm on third phase in three minutes, and this was a slow kill. It's nuts. It's crazy to see how far this account has come and what I've been able to prove you can do with Legacy, and I'm not stopping here. This was one of the first bosses on my hit list. But I knocked a lot of names off the list. And I got pretty lucky, too. I guess you'll see that now. Well after this loop your boy is getting rich today i've got not one spider leg but two pieces only one more to go the grind is becoming worth it nice is luck of the dwarves worth bringing absolutely poggers so check this out so this is something I want to end the video on. Um, did a huge week of PVM. Got a lot done in just a few days. And I got not only the spider leg top, but I've got the bottom. I had to disassemble the web to get these perks. Like crackling and crystal shield, lucky and biting. Biting was the one for noxious components. Which I can make a guide on too, but... The big thing is, I'm here. I'm doing high level content and I'm doing it with legacy. So I guess my biggest point on RuneScape, and I know I've made this a billion times, is a lot of people, they play this game and they think, I need to learn these abilities and do all these things to do this right. And I know I've got a Saren Godbow and that's worth a lot of money, but I've done this without it. And I'm here to tell you, Legacy, this combat style, this much more simple, much more easy to learn of boss mechanics combat style is capable of doing a 4 minute and 22 second Araxi with only 42 kills worth of experience. So that should tell you things. I'm not even at my peak yet, but I will be, and I'm going to continue showing you that there are other ways to game. I hope you enjoyed. See you.